Alright. <laughs> it's always fun. Maybe we need to replace some filters real quick. But first I want to show you guys this. We're going on two comfort makers here. This comes from the factory like this, by the way. <clears throat> so it's a three-phase unit. Why not put a three-phase, three-pole contactor in there? Instead, you have constant power feeding the board up here. It's just wire noted right off. They got it jumped off. This is your hermetic to your compressor. I just, obviously it works. I don't know if that's wrong. I don't know if somebody else did this. <clears throat> but I would imagine there'd be a three pole, three phase contactor in there. I'm more of a single phase kind of guy. So that's what I work on primarily. I have some units like this one that I work on that are three phase. It's a split unit, three phase. Um, just real interesting wiring right there. Makes me cringe. Same with this one right here. <laughs> same, same kind of unit. <clears throat> let me just grab this filter here. Actually, let me take some pictures first. Got to take pictures to prove that I changed the filters. How about that? I actually have to take pictures of everything. Change a capacitor, change a contactor, <clears throat> transformer, anything and everything needs a picture. We put it on a form and then have to write a description. It's like, well, thanks for making me do double the work there, pal. It's just how it goes. So <clears throat> come in here and I'll show you. Got this filter and slide in here. Here's the units we're we'll working on. Let me just slide that guy back on in there. 20 by 20. Now, I don't know why this one's installed in here, but cooling the room next door. Normally the units are actually mounted in the same place. Just one at the beginning of the shelter like this one and then usually one at the other end. <clears throat> same unit here. Yeah. And four times. Come on, Flappy. I just find this three phase wiring to be super sketchy. Definitely not what I would do in my opinion. <clears throat> but that's how somebody has it done. That's how they run it from the factory. It probably comes with this blue wire jumped off. I mean, I'm trying to make sure it actually looks like it's coming off there a bit, but it looks like the shielding is coming off. Same on that one. That's some real sketchy shit, in my opinion. You're always gonna have constant power running through there. Obviously you shut it off at the disconnect, but <clears throat> normally power doesn't come through to the load side, which is the top on these, until the contactor pulls in. But when power's coming through, this leg's always feeding power. I think that's a bad thing, feeding constant power when it's not calling. Burn up one of those windings, but could heat it up enough just to keep it warm, you know? I don't know. <clears throat> too much about three-phase. I don't work on it too much. But also I work 
I would put a three phase. <clears throat> well, you'd have to do some work to it, but my company already knows we didn't install them. We just service and maintain, but I've already told them about this, but anything that's not covered under the AI contract, we have to send a quote out for. And 99.9% .9 of the time, the vendor we work for denies the bid. So like, oh, it's been working like that since it's been installed. Well, it's shit installation, but okay, we'll leave it. Those are the guys who install it. <clears throat> Uh, just a quick one there. Just wanted to show you guys that. <clears throat> I don't work on three phase units too much, so. It's always interesting when you see stuff like that. Anyways, it's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.